Hey guys, it's Tom from Something RS and welcome to my guide to the Lee Jones. Use the menu on screen now or the timeline in the description to skip to the information that you want. All of the Lee Jones have a common tactic which I will explain in the section about Primus and Secundus, so please watch that part before moving on to the other four bosses. 95 Slayer is the only Strix level requirement, but in order to gain access to each boss you must have their corresponding keystone. For example, Keystone Primus will give you access to Legio Primus. The keystones drop from any of the Ascension mobs throughout the dungeon, which will require 81 Slayer to kill. And the keystones are a rare drop, so it could take a while to get these yourself, however the keystones are tradable but they are also quite expensive. One keystone will only give you one attempt at each boss, and each boss drops a unique signet which is a rare drop and all of these signets are required to make the level 90 ascension crossbow. Here's a table of which boss drops each signet. On to the gear and inventory setups, I would highly advise using high level ranged armour with a decent life point and armour boost such as Carol's, Pernix or Death Lotus armour. The Lee Jones themselves are weak to arrows, but just use the best ranged weapon you have access to, such as Chaotic Crossbows, Crystal Bow, Royal Crossbow and so on. For the inventory you'll want an Overload or Extreme Range Potion, or whatever else you have access to, one or two Prayer or Super Restore Potions for your Prayer, and the rest of your inventory you should fill with the best food you can get access to. You can bring a familiar into the boss room, so it might be wise to bring a beast of burden such as a yak and fill that with whatever food you're bringing. Oh yeah, and don't forget your keystones. For the abilities, you'll want to avoid using any combo abilities which root you to the ground for a long time. This includes snipe, rapid fire and unload. You'll be constantly moving so you won't have any time to fire off these abilities. Deadshot is the only ultimate ability I would recommend using, unless you want to use a defensive ultimate such as Rejuvenate or Immortality, although the sooner the bosses die, that's usually the better. Legio Primus and Secundus are identical in that their attacks are the same. All of the Legions have a standard magic attack which will do a small amount of damage when you're using Protect from Magic. All of the Legions have a common special attack which is very frequent throughout the fights. On the floor you'll see areas of lightning that you'll need to avoid standing in to avoid taking a lot of damage every second. To avoid this lightning you'll need to run around the room almost constantly. The best tactic to use is the hit and run method, which involves using an ability, running small distance around the room, firing off another ability and so on. For Primus and Secundus, this special ability is the only thing you have to deal with, making them by far the easiest of the bosses. Also bear in mind that the further away you are from the Legions, the less damage you will do. But if you stand closer to the boss then you'll be more likely to be hit. So if you have enough food then take the safe option and stand a bit further away. Legio Tertius, along with the aforementioned lightning areas of death, spawns mobs when he is at 75%, 50% and 25% health. For the most part you'll want to ignore these mobs throughout the fight and do not use attacks that hit multiple enemies such as Ricochet and Bombardment. If you hit the Gladius mob who spawns at 50% health, it's likely that it will start to stun you, so focus solely on the boss until 25% health. At 25% a Capsarius will spawn which you need to kill as soon as possible, then continue to kill the boss and finish off the mobs afterwards. Legio Quartus, along with the lightning areas of death, will teleport you towards him at various stages. When this happens, simply move away as soon as you can, as a lightning area of death will spawn wherever you're teleported to. Legio Quintus, along with the lightning areas of death, will also spawn lines across the room which will deal heavy damage to you if you cross them. He'll spawn a line at 75%, 50% and 25% health, which will gradually give you a smaller safe zone to run around in. If you feel that staying in a certain zone will get you killed by lightning, then don't hesitate to move into a safer area. Just be prepared to eat lots of food though. Finally we have Legio Sextus, who is very much like Primus and Secundus, except his lightning areas of death are much harder to deal with, as two of them are spawned at once instead of just one, and there can be up to three of them on the floor at the same time. But other than that, there's nothing particularly special about Sextus. And with that, that wraps up this video guide. If you liked it, give us a thumbs up and subscribe. I'm SomethingRS, take care.